What's up beautiful people? This is Mike from My Gadgets Wall and I hope you are having an amazing day. Today's video I want to talk about the LG OLED C1, specifically the 48 inch size which is right behind me and I'm using it as a gaming monitor and also editing for my YouTube videos. So I'm gonna get into the settings, how you can get the best out of it, especially the HDR because HDR is kind of finicky when you're using it with the PC, specifically with the Windows. So I'm gonna go over everything that I personally do and all of my settings. So make sure to hit the like on this video and subscribe to the channel because that's gonna help me a ton and let me know in the comment section whether you would go with LG OLED C148 inch or you would like to get a proper monitor so let me know what do you prefer and I'll see you on the other side all right guys as you can see this is my PC right here and I have the Nvidia RTX 3080 which is the HDMI 2.1 enabled and we have the LG OLED C1 connected so we're gonna hit the input button on the remote control and this is the first thing I want you to do we're gonna go to the dashboard home dashboard you can get it by pressing the input button you have to hold it for a couple of seconds and then we're gonna go and edit this input and what we are trying to do is we are changing the input icon I have it connected to the HDMI for the last one and I have renamed it as PC. You can click on it and change the name, but you're gonna go all the way down and make sure that you select it as a PC because you are connecting it to the PC so it can unlock the full HDMI potential that you want, the 444, and we're gonna do it by selecting the PC. Next thing I want you to do is go to your desktop and this is my desktop right here. And I'm using Windows 11, but things are similar with the Windows 10. It's just the makeup over the Windows 10. So things are gonna be the same for Windows 11 and Windows 10. We're gonna go to the NVIDIA control panel. You can go it by going to the NVIDIA shortcut on the taskbar, or also you can right click on your PC and you can go to the control panel. This is the NVIDIA control panel. And once you get in there, you will notice that your TV, LG OLED C1 is recognized as a TV because it's HD TV. That's what you see on, at the top here. So it is recognizing is that as a TV and it can give you maximum refresh rate of 60 Hertz. So this is not the PC resolution. It is for the TVs. So in order to get to the 120 Hertz, you have to go down and you have to get to the PC settings. So if you do not have the new graphic cards like the RTX 3080, you will be getting the 120 Hertz, but at 1440p resolution. But if you want the full 4K 120 Hertz, you have to have HDMI 2.1 enabled graphic card like the NVIDIA RTX 3080, 3090, 3070. But in the resolution, you want to go down to the one notch below because the first one in the PC resolution, that's not going to be used for the home users because we have the wide screens. So you're going to go to the second one and you're going to click on it and then you're going to have the 120 hertz and you're going to have to apply on it and everything's going to be good. You have the 4K 120 hertz enabled by doing such. And at the bottom, you have the color settings, right? So this one I do not change and I'll show you why because some people will say, hey, go and unlock the RGB and unlock uh, the 10 bit and full. You literally don't have to touch this at all because I'm going to show you in the video when we are going to talk about, um, you know, enabling the HDR. This 10 bit will unlock automatically because right now we are in the SDR. You do not have to change it to 10 bit and you do not have to get the RGB full right now. We are good to go. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna enable the G-Sync. So you go to the G-Sync menu, you click on that, and just enable it for the full screen because you're gaming on the full screen. If you are the one who game on the uh, windowed mode or not on the full screen, then you have to click on the second one. But you know that C1 is compatible with the G-Sync and mostly people do the gaming in the full screen. So we're gonna take that example and keep it at the full screen. And if you go to the HDCP status, you have to make sure that it is showing that it's compliant. If it is not, then it could be the HDMI cable that you're using is not certified or there could be multiple issues. Recently, we had the issue with the firmware with the LG OLED C1 where it wouldn't play uh, the movies in Blu-ray 4K because of the HDCP 2.2 issue. But we are done with that. Now we're gonna do one thing. We're gonna go to the display settings and we're gonna enable the HDR. So in your Windows 10 and Windows 11, you have to find this option, which is right there in the display settings, enable. HDR. As soon as I do that, my desktop recording is going to stop because we are switching the 8-bit to 10-bit different mode. So I'm going to use my camera and show you that when as soon as we enable the HDR, it's enabled and we switch it off. 
See, it's gone and now we enable it again. I'll have the HDR pop up on the screen. This is what I can show only by my camera because screen recorder on the windows will not show you that. And then you will see there's a slider in between which adjusts the uh, HDR and SDR because now you are pushing the HDR all the time. So your SDR content is gonna look uh, literally blown out highlights and all. So you have to make sure you bring it to the middle level, the cursor and you will be fine. Now I want to show you this because this is related to the NVIDIA control panel. We are on 8-bit and I have the HDR off, right? This is where it, it is supposed to be. And we have the RGB, which is 40 Gbps bandwidth. As soon as we turn on the HDR, it switches automatically to RGB 10-bit and full, which is the 40 Gbps bandwidth. So I'm going to show you that in the NVIDIA control panel as well, that it switches the color settings automatically. So you do not have to mess with that setting that I was talking about earlier in the control panel. Keep the slider in the middle and you'll have SDR content displaying properly and also whenever it's HDR, it will eventually be the same HDR 10 bit and it's gonna be totally fine. But for the SDR, yes, you have to bring it to the middle. Now I'm gonna take you to the NVIDIA control panel and show you what I was talking about, why you do not have to go and change it to the custom settings because it is pulling that information automatically and we have the 120 hertz, VRR, everything enabled. And this is right here I was talking about the 10 bit, and we have RGB and we have full. So it's doing it by default. The TVs are so smart now, especially with the LG, the settings that we have. You do not have to do a lot of things. I mean, it's just something that is uh, stating the obvious. You don't have to do that. But now we have the RGB, 10-bit, full, uh, 40 Gbps um, connectivity, the bandwidth unlocked. Now I'm gonna show you one trick, uh, which is about the desktop icons because a lot of people are scared about the burn-in. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna click on the, uh, right click on the PC and we're gonna go to the view and we're gonna show hide the desktop icons. If you click on it, it's gonna hide the desktop icons and you can do the same thing to get the icons back. And also we have the uh, taskbar. So you can right click on it and you can go to the taskbar settings and you can hide it so the behavior would be like whenever you go to the taskbar area it will show up and it will hide if you're not around there so this is for those people who are scared about burn-in and uh, this is something that um, i never had on my tvs i've been using my uh, oled tvs since 2016 never had a uh, burn-in experience but it's out there some people have experiences so if you don't want to take chances you can do it, you can uh, go and also you can change the wallpaper. See right now in the background, I have a static, a static wallpaper. You can change it to a solid color if you wish to. That will prevent from the burn-in. I will prefer if you go with the black wallpaper and also you can go with the slideshow. So what slideshow will do, it will keep changing the wallpaper. So you don't have to worry about the one wallpaper being stuck on your screen forever. So these are the tips and tricks you can follow and solid color that I was talking about, I'll prefer black because it will, first of all, keep all of those pixels off because that's how the black will um, make, make, it, make, make result on the OLED TVs that whenever there's black, all the pixels will be turned off. So it will save you some energy too. But honestly, if you ask my opinion, I always use my wallpaper because I don't want my screen to look super dull and you know life, uh, lifeless. I use my wallpaper and I use my taskbar too but I don't leave my PC running on the, um, you know, just desktop. It's always, I'm always working on it. If I'm not working on it, I turn off the screen. One more thing that you wanna do, you wanna go to the settings and you wanna head down to the uh, support section. In the support section, you will have the OLED care option. So this is the last thing that you wanna do to prevent the burn-in. So we're gonna go to the OLED care option and in the OLED care option, we have the, um, OLED panel care, the last one, and we have the screen move. So make sure the screen move is enabled, is enabled by default. The adjust logo brightness, I keep it at high. Low and high doesn't make any aggressive uh, dimming difference. It's just the timing difference. So on the low, the, uh, the dimming will kick in later, and on the high, the dimming will kick in sooner than later. I mean, I don't know how to explain, but high on high, the dimming will happen quicker. And on the low, the dimming will happen a little longer so i prefer to keep it at the high so that if i'm not using my pc is unattended so what's going to happen that is going to kick in that dimming really quick and um, you're not going to have that high luminance uh, of out coming out of your tv and it's going to prevent the burn-in so guys that's all i have from this video i hope you liked it make sure to hit the like on this video and subscribe to the channel because that's going to help this boy a lot and uh, i'll see you guys in another video until then peace out